I want to bring to you the scientific research on the healing properties of having plants in your house. Hey everybody, Chad Cruiser here with Health and Homestead. And what we do is we help you to learn transforming health principles, life transforming health principles on uh, whether it be country living, plants that help heal, and different things about nature and natural remedies. And so if you want to learn more about this, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so that you don't miss any of the upcoming messages that we're going to be sharing. And by the way, uh, if, if you want to know about the healing power of plants, just wait till the end. It's going to take, we'll probably take 10 minutes or so, but you don't want to miss the end because the last scientific study is very, very powerful on the scientific research on the healing power of plants. So let's look at plants and creativity. Notice the research. Research out of Texas A&M University reveals that plants and flowers in your workspace can enhance your ability to solve problems and enhance your creativity. Now, what a powerful thought that who wouldn't like to be more creative? And if you say, well, I'm not really into creativity, I'm not very artsy, you still would probably like to better able to solve problems, whether it be at work or whether it be in your home life, whatever it is. So something as simple as having plants in your house can actually make that change to help enhance your ability to simply solve problems and enhance your ability to be able to be creative. Now think about this. So if you're, if you're a creative kind of person, if you're an artist, having plants around may actually enhance that, that skill, that intellectual skill of creativity. But let's go on. Notice this, viewing plants and relaxation. In one study, 114 medical workers, high school students, and office workers were to take four minutes and look at a rose without an odor about 15 inches away from their face. What did they find? The result was that those who did had better heart rate variability and increased their relaxation. Heart rate variability is a beneficial thing to help lower levels of stress. Some people, when they're in certain situations, their heart rate just peaks and they struggle with that, but those with better heart rate variability may be able better to deal with issues in their life. So simply having plants around you can enhance your ability to just feel more relaxed, more at peace. What a simple thing that you could actually do to help enhance your life. And they also found another study on fake versus real flowers showed a greater benefit to the real thing. So you really can't b beat the way that God made, God made these things. I mean, you look, something may look very similar, but when you actually have the real thing, it actually enhances the, the psychological benefit, the cognitive benefit that you will gain comes from the way that they were given to us in nature. I mean, even, even back in Bible times, back in Song of Solomon 2, 11 and 12, it says, For behold, the winter is past, the rain is over and gone, the flowers appear on the earth, the time of singing has come, and the voice of the turtle dove is heard in the land. They noticed back then the, the great benefits of being able to be in the springtime as the flowers are coming back. Now, we may not always be able to have springtime. Obviously, there's only a time of year. Right now, I'm moving into fall, and... The reality is, though, we can have certain things in our houses, if we're around enough to water them, that can actually give us a, they have a life-giving experience to us that we can bring the garden into our home. What about viewing paint plants and relaxation? Here's a very simple study. In another study, high school students were to look at a green house plant for simply three minutes and this simple act helped to the students to be able to relax. So something as simple as just spending time actually looking at a, at a house plant. Just simply spending time thinking about it. There's something about the fact that most things in our house, at least standard houses, have you know 90 degree angles and uh, just a lot of, you know, sure there's, there's some curves here and there, but the, there's something about nature with the complexity that as we look at it, our eye just settles down. It actually helps us to settle down and just to feel more calm. Well, you may have heard, what about, what about maybe these plants also help us to have great air in our house? Now, it is true that plants can 
slightly increase the amount of fresh air in our houses. And so having plants is a benefit to the air, but on a very small level in reality. It turns out that you would need to have a significant amount of plants in your home to actually increase the quality of the air in your house. But there is something that researchers have found works fantastically well to give you better air in your house. And you know what that is? Cracking a window. So from time to time, and you can even do it in the winter, from time to time you can crack your windows, let some cool air in. I know that it, uh, in, in the winter it's much harder, in the summer it's easy. You can just keep your windows open, or in the spring or in the fall when it's not too cold. But in the winter it's harder, but even doing that from time to time will actually have an incredible benefit. And I'm gonna have a, a video coming up on the, the psychological benefits of what are called negative ions that we receive from the outside air. So we'll get to that in another video. But outdoor air is very important. You get a tiny, uh, tiny boost from the plants, but not enough to make a significant difference in, your, difference in your house. One of the things that researchers are now talking about is the potential of in the soil of the plants in our house, and I'll talk about this more when we get into a video on the research of allergies and how to live a lifestyle so that you're not stricken with allergies all the time. One of the things that may actually be beneficial is the microbes that are in the soil. One of the microbes that are in the soil, just being around them, potentially breathing it in, can actually have several different, from cognitive, potentially cancer benefits, but also even benefits for your mind, as I already mentioned, cognitive. So you get the idea. So there's benefits not only to looking at the plant, but having that soil around us may be very, very beneficial. Now this one kind of is another angle, but it still has to do with nature. This is wood walls versus having simple white walled panels. A study looking at the physiological effects of looking at a wooden wall versus a white panel was conducted. For those who enjoyed the wood, it significantly lowered their blood pressure, and for those who did not like it, there were no significant negative or physiological impact. For those who disliked the white wall panel, it showed an increase in stress and a significant increase in blood pressure. Now, what an interesting thought that something as simple as just looking at a, at a white wall could actually have a ne negative impact on our physiology. So how much better if we can have white walls? Now, you may be thinking, Chad, do you have white walls or do you have wood walls? Well, I guess they're kind of gray. <laughs> so uh, it would be better. I would, actually, I knew about this study before we got our house. I would have loved to have wooden walls. So that's an option for you. So if you live in a, in a cabin or if you have the ability, if you build a house to have wood on the walls, it actually potentially has a psychological benefit to you and your family. So it might actually lower your stress levels just to see the things of nature around you. What an incredible thought. Now, here's a study right here talking about ornamental indoor plants in hospital rooms enhancing health outcomes of patients recovering from surgery. And so this study was a study of 90 different people. And what they did is in the hospital, these people were having uh, what's called like a hemorrhoidectomy. I may have said the word wrong there, but basically it was simple, simply a, a removal of hemorrhoids for those people who are suffering with hemorrhoids. And part of the patients would have a house plant sitting in their room. So this nice, simple house plant sitting next to the bed there. And the other group would have, well, they wouldn't have a house plant in their room. And what was the effect? Look what the research shows. Patients in hospital rooms with plants and flowers had significantly more positive physiologic responses evidenced by lower systolic blood pressure and lower ratings of pain, anxiety, and fatigue than patients in the control room. Patients with plants also felt more positively about their rooms and evaluated them with higher satisfaction when compared with patients in similar rooms without plants. Based on patients' comments, plants brightened up the room environment, reduced stress, and also conveyed positive impressions of hospital employees caring for the patients. Now this is incredible to think that simply having a plant in a hospital room could make this many benefits. I mean, it's like almost every psychological benefit, almost every marker for health seemed to be benefited. I'm you know, using a little bit of hyperbole, but it is an incredible result for simply putting either a house plant or flowers in the hospital room. So if, if you're struggling with health issues, if you're struggling with psychological issues, one of the things you can do is simply have plants 
in your house. They can brighten up your day, lower your amounts of potentially depression. They could help you feel better and actually help your body to heal more rapidly. This is absolutely amazing. Now, if you like this video, please hit the subscribe button. We have many more coming. God bless and have a fantastic day.